Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you by Riri Hair. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a silky straight textured wig that they sent me. Um, I'm first gonna start by showing you guys like everything that came in the box and then we'll get into the review. All right, so application with this wig is gonna be very easy because it does have that adjustable elastic band. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by cutting the lace off and then I'm just gonna take the black bottle of Got To Be Glued and I'm gonna just kinda smooth it out at the front of the parting space because that's the main part that was like lifting. So I just took the end of a rat tail comb and smoothed it out and I did a little bit on the hairline at the front but I did not do it on the sides because the sides are gonna be covered because it's the middle part. And I just blow dried it and that was pretty much it. And I did put some powder in the part in space and that was basically it. So it was a pretty easy application. guys so I'm back and I have applied this wig and added a little bit more curls but with my curl wand because with this texture it's silky so it doesn't really hold that good of a curl which is a con for me I'm gonna quickly read the specs on this wig so this is a pre-plucked lace front wig um, this is virgin hair and it is a silky straight texture Just right off the bat I do have a bias because I I prefer either yakky textures or kinky textures or even you know curly textures. Silky textures are like my least favorite whether it's a synthetic wig or a human hair wig. Um, I just feel like those other textures like look more natural on me. Um, it's Indian version hair. It is 18 inches and this is where it falls on me. Six feet tall and it's 18 inches. There's the front. Here's the back. Um, it's 130% density. It has a four and a half um, inch lace parting. And it's a medium cap, which is 22.5, which is with human hair wigs, that's pretty, av that's an average cap. So I have a 23 inch circumference head and this fits just fine. Um, the lace is light brown. It is pre-plucked, but I did like tweeze it a little bit more. All the knots at the front are bleached and it does have the adjustable elastic band. So I'm gonna get the pros out of the way and then go to the cons that I have. So I really do like that this wig, um, you have the option of choosing your lace color. Some human hair companies only have like a standard lace color. And sometimes it's hard to blend wigs if their lace is you know a little bit too light or a little bit too dark so i do like when companies have the option of choosing the color of the lace that you can get it is pre-tweeze and the knots are bleached so i did like that the knots were bleached and i only had to wash this wig the hairline to me looked fine but i just wanted to tweeze it up a little bit more so if you are a beginner you don't have to tweeze your hairline and i really love that it has the adjustable elastic band in the cap that makes it a lot more convenient and I only put got to be glued at the beginning of the parting space um, 
and a little bit on the edges at the front but I didn't have to glue down the whole hairline because first of all I'm wearing it as a middle part so the only I only have to worry about the hairline that's being exposed all the parts by my ear they are not glued down so those are all the, the pros for this wig now I told you guys I do have a bias when it comes to silky textured wigs I just don't feel like they hold a good curl and if a wig is not full it's gonna really show that it doesn't have good density so this is 130 percent density and you can fluff it out because i used volume spray to death with this wig to try to give it some texture um i was thinking about just flat ironing it and wearing it straight but i didn't want to do that i wanted to add a little bit more texture to it and because this is silky straight adding texture to it was kind of was very difficult to do so i used some volumes some volume spray here and i did put some curls in it and i tried to give it that like bed head kind of look with certain areas kind of frizzy and stuff like that so i just don't prefer silky textures but there's somebody out there that probably likes silky textures and it probably um just agrees with you more than it does with me i just don't prefer silky texture so um the waves even though i wanted them to be like really soft i just don't feel like they held that well so if you are into you know textures like this then this could be good for you but if you're somebody like me that prefers like yakky textures or kinkier textures then you probably want to pass on this but if you still are interested i'll have a link in the description box to where you can purchase it um shout out to riri hair for sending me this wig and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys